Hello, what's up friends? How you doing? It's me, Lasty here. Welcome to day two, a brand new episode of the FIFA 23 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. That's right, we've made it halfway through another century, episode 150. Jeez. I mean, in previous years, that means that we are getting quite close to halfway through the series because it's normally 300 and something episodes, which is quite crazy to think as well, isn't it? That maybe we're getting close to halfway through already. Time absolutely flies. Anyway, um, if you could continue with your awesome support of this series just by simply smashing a thumbs up, that'd be absolutely brilliant. Can we get... 2,000 likes for today's video. That'd be amazing. And subscribe as well if you're new to my channel. So, uh, I love the way that the team is looking right now. Um, I know that it says 28 out of 33 chemistry, but it's been playing so well that it just doesn't, we don't need to worry about it so much. With the fact that um, <coughs> even really, really low chem players this year still play on their like base stats. You haven't got much to worry about, have you? So uh, with the, the level of players that we've got, they're still all fine. Um, Division 3 rank, well, whatever. Division 3 reward upgrade um, decided to take untradeable packs today. And that is going to give me six packs, two rare players, two jumbo premium gold players, two jumbo premium gold packs. All right? So we're going to get started with them. And what that will give us is obviously... Uh, as well as, you know, the low tier fodder that we got from yesterday's Foot Champs playoffs rewards. That will give us a selection of like low tier and like normal fodderish level players that we can put into some 80 plus player picks. Uh, and then in turn into some of the academy picks, the 82 plus player picks, which will hopefully then give me a reward for them at some point. And we'll be able to do the 84 by 5 again. We'll also be able to do the campaign mixed party bag. I don't know. Whatever they're calling it. Um, we get a player pick within a pack, by the way. Get an 83 rated inform. That's the best possible scenario from that. So uh, I'm, I'm very thankful for that. Uh, but yeah, so th this should be able to... I mean, we'll, we'll have an empty club by the end of the video. But... Uh, it will all be worth it because, you know, you never know what, what we might be able to get out of this. So, uh, Galaxy in our first Jumbo, or one of our Jumbo Premium Gold players, as well as a DePaul, a couple 83s, a couple 82s, eh, some non-rares. It's all right. What are we going to get in a second one of these then? Is it going to be lights up and away we go? No. Uh, it's going to be... <laughs> Excuse me. It's going to be 82 rated Grimaldo. All right. Well... Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll move on and uh, not worry too much about that. But, yeah, not great. Rare players pack then. Can we get a walkout or a future stars from this? Well, maybe neither. Or maybe one, we can get a walkout. It's going to be Erling Haaland. Um, whenever the camera pans that way over to the right, I never think that it's going to be a walkout. And I still don't know if there's an actual tell to tell if it's going to be a walkout or a board when it, the camera pans that way. Not worked it out. I'm not bothered to work out either. 88 Haaland, 84 Castiles, 83s in there as well. Not bad. And then any walkouts or balls from this final 50k pack? Uh, it's your classic 83 rated Luis Alberto. Not the ideal 50k pack, let's be honest. But two 83s in there. We'll work with it. But yeah, it's certainly not... Nothing to really write home about, is it? And it's a duplicate untradeable anyway. So what that did was just enable me to put him into um, the first one of these Future Stars Academy upgrades that we're going to do for today. Uh, going to get another couple of them done throughout the video. And what are we going to get from it? <coughs> one of three, 82 plus. Oh, dear. Walking away with an 83 from that one. It's, it's not ideal. Uh, but hey, we've now got the fodder. To do the 84 by 5 again. Last time we did this, we literally got four uh, five 84s. And it couldn't have got any worse. So, can it be better this time? Well, it can be a walkout. So, it's definitely going to be better. It's Dutch centre mid from Bayern, of course. Frankie de Jong. Um, yeah, it's, it already has to be better than the last one we opened, right? And we get 87, 86 trap. 85 Pedri, couple 84s, including a transferred Jao Felix to the Prem uh, for Chelsea, of course. Um, 
So what I then decided to do was loads of these 80 plus player picks, but I probably just about had the fodder in my club to do that um, mixed campaign bag, whatever it is, the player pick thing. Uh, but I decided, the, the smart man within me decided, I'm not going to do it just yet because if I end up then after after doing that, getting a couple more duplicate untradables or something, I don't know really what to put them into. So I'll do as many of these player picks as possible. Oh, Ruben Diaz, by the way, from an 80 plus. Love to see that. Um, yeah, do as many of these as possible. And then if we get any like really high rated duplicate along the way, then you know what? Then then I'll do the, the, the player pick party bag thing. So yeah, that's sort of the mentality that I went with. Oh, totally gross as well. Hey, you love to see that. No complaints there at all. It's good. Two, so two 88s, actually, we've got from these 80 pluses. And then I finally did it. I finally got the worst possible. Two 80s popping up. That's the first time I've seen that, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, yeah, what a dub. It's not a dub at all, of course. Um, okay, so more of these along the way. I think once we got this duplicate 83, I decided to then put these guys into the Future Stars Academy upgrade as well. Use that duplicate 83 whilst I've got it, of course. Uh, so what can we get out of the one of three 82 pluses from this one? Can it be any better than what we've had recently? Oh, no. Uh-oh, have they nerfed these? Oh, it's not good. Uh, it's in Diego Carlos. It was in two 83s in this video. Um, and we're getting 83s and higher in the uh, 80 pluses. So, yeah, so far the 82 pluses don't seem super worth it. I don't know, but the overall grind for that Nuno Tavares seems like a good idea. He looks like a player that could fit my squad quite well. Anyway, one of three, 86 plus. What are we going to get? Okay, okay. Hear me out. We're going to take Kalulu, obviously. But Gunter, Coleman, Major L's. Kalulu, I think, is a dub. So he's 100k, all right? which I don't know what, how much the SBC cost, but we got someone that's worth 100K, looks pretty good, gets some links to some of the players within my club, and I could potentially try him over Maldini. Another L, another 83 from an 82 plus. They've not been kind to me today, have they? They have not been kind to me today. So what we're going to do right now is uh, we're going to switch it over. We are going to take Maldini out, and drop Kalulu in and see. Because like many of you out there, I see that, you know, there's sometimes a little bit of negativity towards Maldini. He's not quite as incredible now a couple of months down the line as he was a couple of months ago. You know, the power curve does keep increasing. So with all these crazy new strikers and attackers that are out, uh, can Maldini cope with them? Well, maybe not. Who knows? So we're going to just drop into uh, a couple of rivals matches. And I have put uh, put Kalulu in, put a shadow on him. So what I didn't realize at the time was that the shadow uh, keeps him controlled. <clears throat> and if I wanted to get him lengthy, I could put the anchor on there. So I might do that eventually. But whilst I've used a shadow, I'll see what he's like with it on. And I'm telling you, throughout the games that we play today, I really enjoyed him I'm, I'm not saying that i you know i've defended much better than normal or anything i'm still going to concede lots of goals uh, and this is certainly not as successful of a uh, rival session as the one we had recently where we literally went eight and oh um but i still still enjoyed myself i got a little bit wound up with a with one loss in particular um i think it's the only loss of the video but uh yeah it Maybe that's a that's, maybe that's a good thing. You know, I'm so used to winning now that the losses are getting to me. So I just got to keep winning. Uh, this game was a little bit annoying right towards the end. He does manage to. I give a penalty away with Ramos, and uh, he gets his equaliser when I was two goals up and kind of toying with him. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just uh, kept the uh, kept the momentum up, kept the levels up, and we probably could have won that one. So no, uh, we lose the the hot streak. No momentum into, into Division 3 any further. Uh, so we're going to have to go on a little tear now to, to start working our way up that league. But I'm certainly not in a rush to get to Division 2. Um, 
I mean, that's where we ended up at the end of last season, and we're only a couple of weeks in, aren't we? So, uh, yeah, not not in a rush whatsoever for that. 2 nil up in the next game, the guy quits. That's more like it. That's the sort of thing we had last week. Um, so, yeah, and, and I'm defending quite well with Kalulu. Uh, I really, really love Ramos. But to have them two together, they both feel very fast. I'm wondering if I don't, if I don't even need to bother trying to move Kalulu over to a lengthy with an anchor. Might just kind of keep him on what he's on because he felt decent. I don't know. Maybe there's a couple of scenarios here where you watch it back afterwards and think, wow, he defended poorly there. But I just remember being in game thinking, he's not making many mistakes here, whereas I pick out quite a few of Maldini's mistakes when I'm using him. That being said, um, I've heard rumblings that the new meta is, is no longer 4 3 2 1 but 3 4 2 1. So it could be moving to a three centre back meta, um, which could be all right for me. We could end up playing Kalulu, Maldini, and Ramos. That could that could work. <coughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to go or, or what's going to change or what. But um, at the moment, um, I found my groove with four three two one, and I'm happy to stay with it for now. Uh, this game, oh my god! This I was up definitely up against someone that was better than me, uh, and it was it was quite frustrating. But again, like I see it as a little bit of a learning curve at the moment. Whilst we're enjoying the game. Uh, some games can get a wee bit frustrating, but I'm trying to work out which of my super subs go best in which position and, um, and and how we can get goals when we're behind and stuff like that. And then I found out that, you know, just literally whipping the ball into the box a couple of times, the super subs that I've got in Serlot, Alawairan and Adama Traore, they're all able to win stuff in the air in the box. So I think that could be my way back into games if I'm struggling. Uh or I need a goal, you know, in the latter stages, you know, either try and whip that ball over the top and get running with the with the pacey or lengthy boys, uh, or get it out wide and whip it in and try and beat them aerially. So, uh, yeah. Excuse me. So, while one all in this next game, this guy was uh, quite good, but he was really aggressive with his goalkeeper. And it worked for me there to get the goal, but... A couple of times I failed to score because he was so quick at bringing out his goalie. I made a stupid error here, let him back into the game actually, when I'd managed to turn it around and made a, a massive mistake which allowed Bale to get in. And then I just about held on. I was pushing for a goal to win the game and then he ends up getting one with Mbappe and I lose. And I was just like, damn it, man. That was frustrating uh, because, yeah, I'm not sure I, I don't know. I don't think I deserved to lose that one, but maybe it was just I felt a little bit annoyed because I hadn't had a whole bunch of possession and maybe I'd just, just get done against someone that was better than me. Simple as that. So, um, yeah, I mean, we've, we've come towards the end of the video already. We've done lots of cool player picks of various varieties, lots of upgrade packs. We even had the mixed campaign player pick as well where we've managed to get Kalulu. It's knocked Maldini out of the squad, kept our chemistry the same, um, by way of putting Pogba up to two chem instead of one and Kalulu down to two chem instead of Maldini being on three. So uh, we're still at 28 out of 33, but it will do for me for now. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I think the weak link in this team at the moment is probably Johan Cruyff. And that is that says something. So who knows? Maybe we uh, try and get the chemistry up a little bit by bringing Cruyff out and putting somebody in. Somebody that maybe that works in that. I don't know, someone French or something. I don't know what I've got in the club. I'll have to have a little look at it and stuff. But uh, see if we can make things work for us a little better, possibly by bringing Cruyff on as a sub and leaving him off from the start. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Do me a favor, hit the thumbs up. 2,000 likes for episode 150. Oh, that'd be brilliant. Thank you. And subscribe as well to my channel if you're new. Cheers. Follow me on social media. Uh, Twitter, Insta, TikTok. Those links are down below. Hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll be back again tomorrow and it'll be weekend league ready for me. You know, it is weekend league day for you when you're watching this, but it'll be that time of the week all over again. And we're ready for the, the stress and the heartbreak of it, aren't we? Oh yes, I'm so ready for it again. Um, I'll see you then. Peace.